to scan the scapholunar ligament. Again, the patient is seated like this, but the hand is now placed over a gel bottle, a bolster, something like that, a towel. Uh, so the hand is in a relative uh, palm flexion. Uh, I'm going to place the uh, transducer again on top of Lister's tubercle. So Lister's tubercle, you can see uh, right there. Then from here on, we're going to slide to distal, so you can see the bone uh, changing, until uh, we see the uh, scaphoid bone right there and the lunate bone right here. In between the lunate and the scaphoid bone, we can see the scapholunate uh, joint with also the scapholunate ligament, which is the hyperchoic tissue right there. In case of a ligament here, then you will or you, maybe you won't see the ligament, or you see a ligament which also contains a tear, which will show itself uh, anechoic. Uh, but the best way to test this scapholuinate stability and ligament is by placing the patient's hand into a ulnar uh, deviation. And after this uh, ulnar deviation, we're going to ask the patient to clench the fist uh, slowly. So the patient is now uh, clenching the fist and uh, please let go yeah, like this and let's clench uh, again uh, the fist and now we are observing the joint width, the, the degree of gapping, the degree of instability between the lunate and the scaphoid bone. Okay and relax again. If there is a instability then you will see clearly that these two bones go apart, that the uh, joint width will become larger, that there is gapping and you will also see yeah, opening of uh, the ligament. In the depth, by the way, we can see, see, see some bubbles that come from the joint, so this is a normal feature, but this might be more apparent in case of a scaphoid li ligament lesion.